please. Gord Magot, uh, Hirlock, Minister, I want to welcome you into the House today, and I also want to thank the Cahirlock for selecting this particular uh, commencement matter. I am hoping, Minister, that you come with good news. Um, I have heard in the last number of days that it will be extended to those 16 to 18 year olds, so I hope in your reply that you will confirm that. Uh, it's something that I and indeed other colleagues have called for for a number of occasions in this particular House. And it's, uh, over the last couple of weeks, I suppose, Minister, I've been contacted by a large number of students, indeed parents, uh, who are worried about the cost, uh, and particularly those who are starting third level education for the first time. Some of those are actually only obviously 16 uh, and then 17 years of age and, and, and 18 years of age. But when they sit alongside colleagues uh, and other fellow students who are 19, they're paying twice that. Uh, and that is obviously not acceptable, uh, Minister. Uh, just to give you some examples in my own area of, of, of Kildare South, um, in one occasion that the uh, a, a, a 17 year old who is just beginning first year in Minute is paying 45 euro, or paying 90 euros compared to 40 Five euros from uh, an older sibling on the same bus. And again, in, in Carlo Technical College, um, we have colleagues who are paying 35 euros uh, versus 70 euros for those that are under the age uh, of 19 as well. So in, in, in when we have uh, an accommodation crisis, which I'm sure you're very aware of, Minister, uh, and also we also have a climate crisis, then we need to look after those younger people who are traveling and have left with no option but to travel um, to um, third level education. And I hope, uh, as I say in your reply today, that you will confirm that you have uh, extended this to, to 16 and 18 year olds, because that will be accepted. It will be welcomed by uh, so many people. It will be welcomed by parents and students, because um, it is totally unacceptable, and repeating myself once more, that we have siblings paying less than, than, than another sibling on the same bus uh, and paying up to 200 euros and 250 euros a month more than, than those of, 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 the, of an older age. Minister's questions on the eligibility requirements for the young adult card. I am happy to clarify that I have been advised that the National Transport Authority are widening the age rules of the scheme to allow 16, 17 and 18 year old students in third level education to apply for the student leap card so that they can also avail of the 50% discount. This is aligned with the approach that has been taken with mature students who are in full-time third level education. In right to the very end to announce the good news, but it is very good news that he has announced today. As before, I want to welcome this initiative. It is very, as the Minister says, hugely positive for students and for travel and public travel in this country. The one issue I would like to bring to his attention is the commercial bus operators to ensure that they are offering this service um, to as many students as possible. I think that is essential to this working, and particularly in rural areas, uh, it is uh, commercial bus operators that operate the scheme, as you're probably aware, Minister. So to ensure that, to, to get its biggest bang for book, that we ensure that those bus operators are carrying out the scheme. But very positive news, and I thank the Minister for uh, confirming that with us today. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Senator.